Benedict's. Instead of ham, we will have steak, and we will have fried eggs and a homemade hollandaise sauce. Here, before we start doing anything, how about Richard from Grand Kitchen come and tell us the history of this lovely cutting board? Mm -hmm. How is everybody? The butcher block uh, was a favorite piece of the owner. It's a hundred years old. And you're just going to wash it, use a scrubber if you'd like, or just use your hands, whatever feels comfortable. Please be careful, we do not need any missing fingers. Now let's start to add the salt. Put it in the same pan as Let's get our beautiful steaks out. And we are just going to trim off all the white fat. So, so the butter. Butter everywhere. Oil, oil just went. I will show you the one-handed, but you can do the two-handed if you would like. I like slapping my sister with it. That's why I brought it today. I need my second fork. What? How many forks do you have in your pockets? Good? Yeah. It's a little bit harder, but not super chunky. If that makes sense. Right now, just everybody has made eggs benedict for dinner. Had everybody in salt. Steak, potatoes, and a classical fried egg. Sauce. That was really good. Yes, I was very proud of everybody. They did an amazing job. They all got it spot on. What comes after dinner? Dessert! That is correct. We will be making a social media worthy key lime pie in a mason jar. Is everybody ready? <laughs> now, everybody, take your grit. Are we? Are you as fine as you can? Because this is the crust. That's me. Super smooth. The mason jars are over there if you're wondering. Everybody has them. Now start adding in your crust. And now we wait. For 10 minutes. Get set. and arms. My arm is going to fall off. Uh, whipped cream. Eating, not making. Then you got seven I got out of six. Seven out of six. Fishing first place winner. <laughs> and you did an amazing job today with uh, with the troops. I mean, give me a five. They took the team uh, to put everything together. You delegated well, you know, and everybody jumped right in and took care of this. was the best kitchen I've ever cooked in. Probably beats out every single one. Amazing from the size to the island to the functionality of everything. Um, it's just amazing kitchen. Do you mind telling me a few details about it? We actually designed this kitchen for uh, Linda and Glenn. Um, and they're, they're friends of ours, they're customers of ours. Um, a lot of customers do become friends with Grand Kitchen and Bath, Julie and myself. Um, this is this is just one of those examples. Um, you know, Chef, earlier today we were talking about the butcher block, and I had, was telling you about how it come to be. The, the butcher block was Glenn's uh, dream to have it integrated into the kitchen, and it, it came out pretty good. But we had some excess parts uh, when it's all done, and we had the legs off this 100-year-old table. Um, we were had a, had a situation where we were trying to support this countertop um, and we didn't want to use a traditional stainless steel in this area so so the legs are the hundred year old legs that came off of the table wow yeah that's pretty awesome that's uh, one way to reuse a bunch of materials it is repurpose the materials yeah so Richard, what is your favorite uh, thing about this kitchen? The wine cooler. <laughs> Chef, there's one area we haven't spoke of and it's 
it's it's it's a little angled area over here if you notice that area is also set up with a coffee center for the homeowners to make individual cups of coffee and immediately down below that is is a port uh, for their dogs which they really love their dogs <laughs>